I can't be the only one that built one of these things. So I like to wake up early in the mornings and usually that's before everybody else inside this house. Coffee makes this noise. If you grind your coffee while people are still in bed, most likely you'll wake them up. So what do you do? Go into another room. You, sometimes you just can't do that. Sometimes you can't scurry away into another room because you live in a place where there's not that much room to go. Sometimes the noise can be even worse, like this. Yeah. Chances are you'll probably wake somebody up if you're making a smoothie because these types of machines makes a lot of noise. Now, a long time ago, I lived in an apartment where I didn't have too much space and I, ba and I basically made myself a kind of a soundproof box, but it basically took the noise, completely dampened it and made it so it didn't wake up everybody inside the apartment because there's not that many places to go sometimes. So in this video, I'll show you how easy it is to build one of your own little soundproof kitchen appliance box. Now this type of box, it's not meant to put an appliance in it for an extended period of time. It's just basically, if you're using it for 30 seconds, it's making a lot of noise, it's going to make it a lot quieter and bearable. Now you can make this type of sound deadening box with different types of material for the box itself. But the reason why I always chose a cardboard box is because I didn't have that much space inside my apartment. So I would open it all up and fold it and place it somewhere where it wouldn't take this much space. Now, if you use a Rubbermaid tub, something of the sort, then yeah, I mean, it'll work, but then you'll have that big tub that you have to store somewhere. The second thing that you will need is sound deadening material for vehicles. Now, you can basically choose any type of sound deadening material. They all work pretty well. The same for this type of application because it's not really placing it on metal to stop vibrational from the road noise. So it's, it's a different type of application. I'll have links in the description below of everything that I recommend to build your own box. The next thing that you'll need are command strips and some acoustical foam to really deaden the sound that these types of small appliances will make. All right, so now let's build our box, but first we'll take some decibel readings of our two small appliances and see exactly how much noise they're making just on the counter by themselves and then when they are in our completed sound isolation box. We will start with our Ninja Juicer, whatever this thing is called. Quite noisy. So you saw that was around 95 decibels. It was when I was looking at it. Maybe when I had it a little bit closer to the camera, it might have been a little bit less. Now we will try our coffee grinder. All right, so that'll give us an idea of how much noise these two appliances are making and how much noise we can actually cancel out using our sound isolation box. The first thing that we want to put in is our sound deadening materials that is usually made for vehicles, but they will absorb a lot of the vibration that those machines make and will block a little bit of the sound as well as just deadening it. Now, the reason why I like to put it in the box while the box is already folded and closed is that you can seal all of the corners where the box adjoins. So while doing that, you leave a lot less air gaps. So it's always better to do it while the box is already closed and sealed. Then after you're done, you can open the box and fold it. All right, so now that we have our sound deadening box mostly complete, it's now time to add our acoustical foam to really drown out that echo that these types of machine creates. So now I'm just gonna use some command strips because I have a bunch left over from another video. Oh, look at that. I like to use these ones because you can reuse them and they just attach on each other like Velcro. And now I'm just adding the last pieces of acoustical foam inside the box. And as you can see, you can also use that type of box as a portable recording booth because does it sound any, oh no, yeah, no, maybe not. It doesn't sound very good. 
And now we'll see how much noise this simple to build box. We'll start with the coffee grinder. As you can see, it is safely tucked away in the box. You just close it simply like that. And I can easily push the button and keep it closed. About 72. As you can see, it is quite more silent than it was before. And just to give you an example, if you just decrease the noise by only three decibels, essentially you're cutting the noise in half by what you're able to hear, how it sounds to you. So keep that in mind. If you can cut something like 10 decibels, 15 decibels, that's a lot. So by giving you the comparison, it shows that this type of box really works. And as I said, it is not that complicated. Now we will use the well, smoothie maker and we'll find out exactly how much noise this makes because this is quite a noisy machine. All right, let's begin. Does it work? Yeah. What do you think? It, leave, a, leave a comment because I can't be the only one that built one of these things. So just let me know. And also let me know how you built it and how it turned out. Send me pictures. Info at soundproofguide.com. Also check out my website. I'll have all the measurements there for these types of projects and I would just love your support to check out my work. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.